everybody. What's up, everybody? This is so possum. That's old Jimbo here. Uh, we asked y'all the other day what y'all want to see, and y'all asked about how to make our grits, and well, that's what we're gonna show you here. That's right. Well, old possum said we're gonna show you how to make that infinity grits recipe, and uh, work on that for you. Before we do that, if you recall on, on the other video, Yonner, when we were talking about the stands and the pay lake setup. I went back and looked at my notebook before we started this clip and uh, somebody had asked about where you get them and I think I did answer that but I'll go ahead and answer it again and ask about you know the prices. You can get them at the Bay Shack in Shelby, North Carolina 704-487-9996. Call over there and ask to speak to Michelle or Kelly. They can hook you up with stands. They do ship them. Um, but you can get them at R and W. You can get them at most pay lakes or any bait and tackle shop that carries carp equipment, carp flavoring, carp baits, anything that's dealing with carp. They typically sell them powder coated stands. Um, most of them uh, the price range anywhere I've seen them for ten dollars and they real short to about thirty five dollars and more high end uh, price on them. Uh, the ones I got they were about. Uh, twenty-two fifty. We'll just say twenty-five dollars a piece. Um, but like I say, if you call the Bass Shack at Shelby and ask to speak to Teresa, Michelle, or Kelly, uh, any one of them good people over yonder will help you out. And you can give them a call at seven zero four four eight seven nine 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 six. And while they'll help you out and get you what you want, they carry a whole line of stuff, folks. I mean, uh, carp stands, nets, hooks. Anything you bass need for equipment. any kind of fishing, crappy bass, catfish, striper, you name it. They also do sell some hunting equipment, uh, some hunting apparel, some clothes, some boots, some shoes, coolers, just whatever you need. They'll be glad to probably send you some kind of a uh, some kind of a uh, catalog yonder and let you order what you want from them. But yeah, that ten dollars to thirty five dollars probably just will just go uh, on a broad spectrum yonder. You can get about whatever you want in that price range and how many ever you want of them. So, um, without any further ado, we're going to show you our grits recipe. Everything you need right here is sitting right out in front of us on the table, Yonder. And what we got here is a box of uh, Quaker Instant Grits. Got a bag of Quaker Quick Grits. A 16-ounce container of K-Row syrup that has been poured over in there. Now, before we go any further, this bottle's not all the way empty on account. I had another bottle, some left over, uh, and just poured it over into the measuring cup. So what we've done here is we've got two, well, excuse me, we've got uh, 32 ounces, two pounds, of quick, or instant grits, and we got 28 ounces of quick. Now, typically your grits recipe is a one to one ratio. It's usually one part quick and one part instant. I always make my bait, except for rice, on a conservative side. Quick, the quick grits will make your bait break faster. Instant grits will make it break slower. So I go ahead with the full amount of my instant grits and I go conservative on my quick. And here's why I do that. While when I get to the lake, if I need to add to make it break a little quicker, I'll just throw me a palm full or two of my quick crits over in there, stir it up and, and check it and it's usually ready. But if you wanna go ahead and make it one to one, you can just carry you some another container of quick with you or a container of instant with you. If it's breaking too slow, Throw you a palm full or two at a time till you get it to break white of quick grits to break faster. If it's breaking too fast on you, throw you a palm full or two of instant in at a time until you get it to the right break time you want. The possum run up there and show the camera, Yonder, that we've got two pounds of instant and we got 28 ounces of quick, just a little bit backed off of that full 32 ounces. So we got them in the bucket. We've incorporated old possum done stirred it up yonder before we went on film. And I got both the grits mixed up. Now he's gonna come over here and get to it. 
Alright guys, so y'all, so we're going to pour 16 ounces of K-Row syrup. And it's a little more than 16. A little more than 16 ounces. 17, 17 18 maybe. And you're just going to pour them in. Pour this in. Just pour it in. Yeah. Pour it all in, yonder, and just let it drip real good out of the measuring cup. Now, like I said, old possums put in about 17 to 18. Usually now, after you get your uh, 32 of this, 32 of, your 32 of this, your 32 of quick, usually it's a 3 to 1 ratio uh, dry to your binder. So you've got a total of 64, which would usually call for about 20 ounces of K-Row. Again, I backed off on it just a hair, about 18 ounces or so. I can just hit a little touch of it at the lake if I'm not confident in it or I'm not feeling right about it when I check it. I can add the k row to it. You can always add, but it's hard to take out a lot of times. Mm -hmm. The possum, stick your hand on there and get it incorporated real good. Just stir it up real good. It's going to be a sticky mess. Now this, folks, it's a last you. As long as you got it, the fish will bite it. Uh, or until you just run out of it or don't want to use it no more, but it ain't going to go bad. It ain't going to sour on you none. Don't worry about packing. Just stir it up. It's just gonna, it'll last you forever. It's not going to go bad, which is why it's called infinity rice. If you wanted to make, you know, two boxes of instant, the two things that are quick and make uh, just for you syrup, why you can make a, a big, great big bucket of it, Yana. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Now I tell you, you gotta have to manhandle it because it does get a little hard on you when you stir it, trying to work it in. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what you got going on there, possum. Just leave your hand right over this towel here. You can feel the dry in it. You want to just pull from the bottom and work toward the middle. Pull from the bottom on the side and work toward the middle, and you'll see. You'll tell, you'll know exactly when you got it right. You'll not feel no dry grits, no war. And right there, in about two hours, this right here will be ready to rock and roll. But we're going to try to use this tomorrow. Ain't going to hurt it a bit on account of it. It'll last forever. Possum, run on in there and wash your hands. While possum's gone, I'll bring this up here to you and show you. And you can see it's sticky. It'll stick to you right smart. Just kind of wipe it off the best you can and hope your wife don't kill you if you get it all over your brand new porch, your honor. <laughs> but we'll clean it up before she gets home then. I'm going to bring it up here and show you what you got. What you got is that right, your honor. No corn in it. It ain't going to sour on you. It'll pack like a brick, pack just like millet. And uh, it'll be ready to rock and roll in just a couple hours. But we'll put the lid on it right here, get her ready to go, and uh, we'll fish with her tomorrow. Now, I will say this. You'll notice that I didn't add no flavor to it, and I did that on purpose. Well, here's why. I wanted to give you a different take on it. If you wanted to add flavor while you'd have put it in here with your syrup, stirred it up real good, poured it over and did it just like that. This we've made plain, and here's why we made it plain. What we'll do is we'll take this with a plane. You go out to Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, you know, any little place like that, and buy you a little spray bottle, put you about half half of a amount of flavoring, half of uh, distilled water, pond water, heck you can even use tap water, shake it up real good, and then you can spray it. Once you pack it on your hook and you got your plain grits, you can hit that with your spray and that'll give you the flavoring you need. The only reason we didn't put no flavoring on it, I want to give you a perspective of a plain bait that you can add flavor to it. Uh, and here's why you do that. It's more economical. You ain't using a half a bottle of flavoring. You're cutting it with a little bit of water. Uh, let's say you go into a lake where they don't bite grape. 
they don't bite strawberry. And you got a whole bucket of strawberry grits, Yonner. And you want to throw grits, but they don't bite that. This won't bite. Let's just say they just won't touch it. That's why then reach in your box, Yonner. Grab your uh, butternut or grab your, uh, you know, whatever flavoring you want. Whoop it up right quick and mix it up with water. And spray that, uh, spray your bait with it right yonder real good. And uh, then you got the flavoring that they biting or the flavoring you found they biting that day. And you don't have to worry about having the wrong kind of grits with you. Only reason we done that. Oh, Possum, you done a good job on that bait, bud, stirring it up. Go ahead and get this lid on her. Clamp that lid down real tight. Again, I want to thank you a whole lot for all that y'all have done and, and all your support you've given us. Uh, what I've done is talk to a lady and a real nice gal. Talked to her about getting some shirts made up. Um, she gave me a quote, and uh, what I'd like to do is offer you a t-shirt, Team Country Boys Outdoors. It's got the fishing rod you see whenever our video comes up, our, it says Team Country Boys Outdoors. And on the back, it's got that fish, what ain't got no skin on it, just kind of a bones, and it says Country Boys Outdoors across the top of your back shoulder, genre. Uh I think I'm going to get them in a gray like this with some orange uh, print, maybe trimmed in black. Uh, if you would, let me know if you'd like a shirt. If you'd like a shirt, send me an email. I'm going to drop an email right here at the bottom of the screen. You see my email, right, Yonner? Send me an email and tell me the size you would like. If, you would, if you'll do that, then I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I'll talk to you through email about the, uh, you know, your address and all that stuff. But here's the deal. It'll be a gray shirt with that that design on the front and the back I told you about. Um, small to an extra large will be twelve dollars she said I think uh, and 2x to 4x will be four, uh, thirteen dollars. So twelve for a small to extra large 2x to 4x will be uh, thirteen dollars. If you'd like to get one of those we'd be tickled to death with it. Uh, we'll be glad to send it to you and uh, just shoot me an email. Let me know if you want one. That way I can get a good hard number to send her, Yonner. Let her know how many I need. Obviously, the more I can order, the, the better of a deal we can get. And uh, we appreciate you. So this was a tutorial today on our Infinity Grits bait recipe. And uh, we're glad you tuned in and watched. Possum, you got anything to say, buddy? Um, hit that like button and subscribe. That's Until right. Listen. That's right. Hey, our channels are growing. We tickle to death to have you. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to us. Hey, God bless you all. Hope this bait recipe works out for you if you try it. Tight lines and wet nets. God bless you all. And remember, the best things come to those who bait. It's Team Country Boys Outdoors. Until next time.